Okay, let's continue with the with the B course. Um, I give the last session of uh, today that is uh, about uh, derived uh, data types. Uh, on MPI, well, uh, you have seen that uh, we have uh, basic uh, types. Uh, we can we have the uh, integer, MPI int, uh, MPI uh, float, uh, double, etc. Uh, but also we have uh, we can create uh, derived data types that are uh, useful to define uh, vector uh, structures and um, other uh, defin data definitions. For example, uh, here I have a, a vector of uh, 10 uh, integers. For example, if I want to uh, send uh, all uh, this uh, vector, I should uh, write uh, MPA send and the X is the, the vector uh, address of the vector, then is the number of uh, elements of the vector. And the type that is uh, MPI int. For example, to send the first uh, four element, uh, what uh, should I write uh, here? If I want to send the first first uh, four, yeah, instead of uh, ten, I put uh, four, right? And I send the uh, yeah, the address is the same, is the vector x, but I want to send only this uh, four. So yeah, that's the that's the result. But for example, for who can I send the the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth elements of the of this vector? The quantity is the same; it's a four. But what I should I modify in that function to send? The, yeah, I, I should have changed uh, the address, right? Okay, so yeah, have a here uh, what, 4 in uh, C, 5 in Fortran. And now, <laughs> how, can, how can I do that? How can I send uh, these two elements and then these uh, two? We will see that uh, with the uh, derived uh, data types, uh, we can do that because uh, in that way, mm, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's uh, possible. Now, for example, why if I want to send uh, this like an structure, the uh, the same uh, issue. <laughs> so the motivation here to uh, learn the data like types are two. The first one is, uh, for example, if we want to uh, send uh, an structure, uh, we don't have uh, defined this. Uh, uh, this is the the structure is not a basic uh, data type, so we should uh, define and generate a derived uh, data type. And also another motivation is uh, you have seen that uh, for the send and receive uh, operations, and also for the for the other uh, operations, the the collecting I forgot the, the collecting operations, uh, you should uh, specify the count. But if, uh, for example, if I want always uh, to send uh, uh, four elements, I can def uh, define a, a data that means, uh, for example, four elements of uh, integer or four elements of flow. I can also do that with the derived data types. So the idea is that is uh, we generate we use a function from the MPA library and we create a new. Uh, uh, data type. Um, having this new data type, we can uh, use uh, this uh, for send, uh, receive, uh, collective communications, etc. We should uh, take care with the reduction operations because uh, for the reduction operations, so we should define the the MPI operation that uh, we want to uh, perform. So we want to do a sum, a multiplication, etc. Uh, for MPI, it's not easy if uh, we give uh, a derived uh, data type. We, we should uh, define the, the operation. So, for example, for uh, if we have a structure, the element can be of uh, different uh, basic uh, types. 
but uh, for a, if we define an array, the array should be all the elements that are on the array should be of the same uh, data type. And also once that we have defined a, a data type, uh, we can uh, redefine it. I mean, we can use, uh, I, I can uh, define, for example, a vector of four integers, and this new data type I can reuse again to create a, a structure. Because one that, once that the data type is defined, we can work with that as a, as a, as a basic one. So well, this is for a structure that we have the basic data types and the displacement of each data type. The easiest one is uh, what uh, I mentioned before, have a, a vector of a contiguous uh, elements. So to define uh, that, we on C, we, we, we specify the count. If uh, we will uh, have a four integers, I set here four, data type uh, MPI int, and the new data type we can use uh, vector four or other number. And uh, using continuous, well, also one advantage is uh, that this uh, the program is more uh, readable for other people. Well, this is like a maybe a question of the develop, a decision of the developer. But for example, instead of uh, uh, writing MPI init and then counter four, you can uh, define the type uh, block four, and that's uh, easier for. Maybe it's clear for the if uh, another person uh, reads uh, your code, makes it uh, more clear that uh, maybe using the count for and the int, etc. And also, so what what they said that they say if we want to define uh, a structure or another more uh, difficult uh, data type, more complex data type, uh, we can use uh, this one as an intermediate uh, step. Okay, here we have the most, well, bit uh, difficult to uh, define, understand. Uh, here uh, we we have like uh, uh, three numbers. The first, the count, is uh, mm, how many, uh, let's say, portions of the array I want to send. Yeah, we have here yeah, one and two, so the count is uh, two. Stripe is five. Is uh, how many elements? Well, first, uh, yeah, the block length is the uh, three. That is, uh, I want to send these uh, three elements and these uh, three elements. And here we have a stripe five because uh, I want a gap of uh, two. So the elements that I want to send plus the gap between these uh, two portions is uh, two. Uh, is clear the numbers in this? Uh, and now maybe you uh, you are wondering uh, why we need uh, this? Why I, I need to send uh, one portion and then and then another portion of uh, one array? Sounds a bit uh, yeah, weird. The thing is, if uh, that's uh, good, if uh, we have a two D array. Because if uh, we have a 2D array, uh, this part uh, could be the first row, and this part uh, the second row. Um, in that case, you can uh, send only a part of the 2D array instead of the whole uh, 2D array. The problem here is uh, one. It's not the problem that uh, you should uh, take into account that. That in C and Fortran, you can see that, uh, okay, C that starts uh, with zero, Fortran with one, but also the, the how the arrays are stored memory change. We will see how uh, that uh, change. Well, I'm not, I'm more, uh, I'm not very familiar with this uh, coordinate system, but, uh, okay, let's, uh, Explain that, uh, for example, if uh, normally when you uh, write a matrix in C, you start uh, from here, right? 
like the first element, second element, third element, fourth element, fifth element, and so on, right? But if uh, you see here, it's, there is like a rotation. If uh, you rotate your hand like that, you have the same. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth element. That's clear? For the... I mean, it's the only thing that uh, we rotate uh, 90 degrees. Normally, for example, when I write a, an array or a matrix in my, in my mind, it's uh, following this, uh, this order. But if, uh, we take, if uh, we rotate, the order is uh, like that. Okay, here we have a, an array uh, in 1D in memory, and we have elements uh, from 1 to 16. In, the, in C, it's a uh, row Y, so, well, yeah. In fact, we rotate. He said we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, and so on. But uh, the same in uh, Fortran change. Instead of uh, going in that direction, going in that direction. So we should uh, take uh, this into account in order that uh, when, when we define uh, a new data type, we will see uh, why. For example, I have the, this matrix, five rows and four columns. That is rotated. And uh, for example, if I want uh, that, that element, so the distribution here is uh, first I put uh, D, well, first I have this, that this uh, corresponds to this. Then I have uh, this that corresponds to this, this uh, to this, and uh, so on. No, I did it uh, wrong. It's another way around. Because uh, you see, it's only one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's uh, like this. Did you see the distribution? So uh, here, the what uh, we should take into account that, uh, okay, we have a two element. We have a gap of two. And also we have a one, two, three. The count is uh, three, so that, that these are the parameters that uh, we should uh, put into, into the the function to define the new uh, data type. Now, let's see the ah okay because it was in C, yeah both, yeah in Fortran. In Fortran is uh, is working in that way instead of in that way. So that's uh, okay. First we have this, then we have this and this. How uh, is the structure? Here we have uh, three elements that uh, we want uh, to know to uh, keep the the value. A gap of two, and we have one block and two blocks. So the count is uh, two. So also we have to uh, shape or uh, yeah, shape this. Uh, values when we uh, initialize the new data type, define the new data type. Yeah, it's uh, what I said uh, before. These are the numbers. Uh, count of three, block length uh, two, and the stride is uh, four. And uh, yeah, the stride here is uh, five, and block length three, and the count is uh, two. So for example, again, yeah, four, no, four trans and C, change. The same thing, but uh, should I think it out on this, uh, this. And how we can construct the vector data type? Here we have the element, integer, flow, etc. The new, that could be a uh, array uh, three, uh, two, whatever. And here we should uh, put the count, block length, and the stride. Only with that, now we have this uh, new uh, data type. Uh, Define. Okay, now I, I have uh, this uh, uh, data type defined, but uh, how can I uh, send, uh, for example, the, maybe the, the first part of the last part of the bottom left uh, part, etc. Uh, as uh, we as uh, we have done for the first in the first example. 
after we, we create uh, the address, uh, we, we did a displacement of the uh, form. For that, uh, we should uh, do the same. You see here, for example, if I want to get uh, this uh, portion, I, 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 can, I should uh, send uh, this uh, in address that starts uh, here. But if I want uh, not this, uh, I want this instead of uh, that address, I should uh, send that uh, address if I <laughs> right. Yeah, should send uh, the pointer instead of pointing here, should mm -hmm. point uh, here. Or my you see the it's deep. I know that this uh, this took, took me some time to understand this. Almost a year now. <laughs> so well, uh, also that uh, we have a defined uh, data type. Uh, I, I mentioned before that uh, we should uh, be careful when we define the buffers, the sending buffer, receive buffer, about the memory. Uh, we don't want to uh, like uh, use more memory that uh, we have a uh, book uh, beforehand or reserve beforehand. So one way to uh, to get the how long of uh, to get the, the size of the of the new data type is uh, using API uh, type get extent. That is uh, I, the parameter is the data type and the output is the extent and take uh, the distance from the start of the first element that we want to keep until the last element that uh, we want to keep. And the answer is uh, returning by bytes. So for example, in that case, uh, the distance is uh, from here to here, and the distance is uh, from here to here, the, the size. So this distance is uh, multiplied by the if it's, uh, MPI in, MPI flow by the number of uh, bytes of uh, the basic data type. Well, and to uh, finish, have the, we can also uh, define a, a structure. For example, here we have a, an integer, and here I have a vector of uh, three uh, doubles. So for this is, uh, we can uh, define this uh, vector, like a contiguous uh, type, and then use uh, this contiguous type to define this uh, structure. And also the, because, uh, okay, we can, uh, we can work in 32 bits, uh, 64 uh, bits, and also it depends on the compiler, library, etc. Uh, for MPI, it's not uh, just say, uh, like an int, double, or the, and the, we should uh, define the yeah the byte displacements of uh, every element. Well, I show you I show you the syntax and then I show you the example. Uh, this is the syntax MPI type I create a struct. Here we have the count the number of elements and the, we have a, a several uh, well the array of uh, block lines, the array of uh, displacement the array of uh, types, and the type that uh, we will, uh, for example, uh, the previous case was uh, uh, structure bar, for example. Here, uh, for example, in the taking the previous uh, sample, the count is uh, two. So the, we have uh, only uh, one element of uh, MPI int. And uh, uh, three elements of M M MPI uh, double. So we have defined the count. We have the count that is two, block length that is a one and three, and the types that is MPI int, MPI double. Uh, uh, now, array of uh, displacements, how we can calculate that? So to calculate the displacements, we can use uh, the MPI get address that gives the location 
well, if the location where you uh, give to the to this the location and you get the address. Uh, having the address, having the address is uh, you can calculate uh, this, the displacement. Also, you can do it uh, manually if it's uh, like in that case that is uh, easy. It's a uh, one. <coughs> It's one integer and double. If you take into account the, that, you can calculate the manually. Ah, uh, well, I forgot to. Uh, once that, uh, when we define uh, one thing, is uh, define the, the data type, but uh, when it's uh, defined, we should uh, commit the data type in order to uh, be uh, used. How we can commit the data type? CC. And the item commit and the input parameter is the data type that we have created. And work. That's the, the end of uh, this, uh, the last uh, talk about the direct data types. Uh, here we have, uh, we can practice uh, this uh, with the ex exercise uh, uh, seven dot one. And it's, uh, yeah, we will uh, create a sh two separate sums, uh, one way using integer and one using uh, floating uh, point. So we can we should create an extractor data type for this. And uh, if uh, also if we create this uh, data type, we should also define the operation to uh, in order to uh, sum the element. And also, well, if uh, you are not, uh, well, if uh, you, are, you are more into four terms, you can uh, jump to exercise, uh, to the second exercise, of the second part of the exercise uh, cell. And you can see the, how the MPI vector uh, works. Have uh, any questions about uh, that? Okay, thank you for your attention and uh, if you have more questions, I will be here.